Hey you! So, it looks like there's a new kid on the block in the incredible world of AI video generation. It's called Luma Labs Dream Machine. And in celebration, I took this photo of the 80s boy band New Kids on the block to see what kind of video it could come up with. But more on that later. First, let me tell you, Luma Labs Dream Machine is one of those AI tools that creates videos that look like they're straight out of a movie. An hour on the Dream Machine keeps me sane. It allows anyone to create stunning, realistic videos just by typing in a description or uploading an image. It's mind-blowing stuff. Just don't upload any fingers. The creative possibilities are endless. You could visualize scenes from your favorite book, create dynamic product demos, or even prototype ideas for a film. Some artists are already using Dream Machine to make entire music videos and short films. But Dream Machine isn't just a fun toy. It represents a huge leap forward in AI's ability to understand and generate video. The implications are staggering, from accelerating VFX workflows to enabling new forms of immersive entertainment. Of course, the technology isn't perfect yet. Characters can sometimes morph or glitch out, and complex scenes are still a challenge. But even in its early stages, Dream Machine is capable of producing videos that would have seemed impossible just a year ago. Okay, let me stop. I'm rambling a bit here. All right, ramblers, let's get rambling. Sorry about that. Let's move on with the tutorial, shall we? Here's my step-by-step -step guide to using Dream Machine. First, go to the Luma Labs website and click on the Try Now button in the upper right-hand corner. Then sign up with a Google account. In the Dream Machine interface, start by writing a detailed description of the video you want to create. The more specific you are, the better the results. Describe the setting, characters, objects, and action. For our example, let's type, a teddy bear in sunglasses playing electric guitar, dancing and headbanging in the jungle in front of a large, beautiful waterfall. Let's see what Dream Machine comes up with. So what do you think? Leave comments on whether you think it sucks or is good. Here's another example from earlier, which was created by typing. Extreme close-up footage of a young sailor woman with a concerned expression during a rainstorm. If you want, you can also upload your own starting image for the AI to build off of. This is a great way to bring static images to life. Let's try it, shall we? I'll upload an image that I created on Leonardo AI. Here we go. Hit the generate button and let the AI work its magic. In some minutes, you'll have a brand new five second video ready to view. So what do we think about this one? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this one a thumbs down. It's blurry. The left arm looks like it got amputated or something. And the fingers, Oh God, those fingers. This looks like it could be a scene from that movie Pan's Labyrinth. I warned y'all about human hands and AI generators, didn't I? I am still awaiting an image and or video generator that can consistently do human hands and fingers well. As it stands right now, this is like nightmare fuel. Admittedly, I wanted to test Luma's limits with this picture, and man, did it do poorly with this one? What the heck is she even holding in her right hand? Is that a selfie stick or something? Anyway, let's try a different pic. Hmm, let's see. Let's try this one. And here we are, almost 50 minutes later. Let's see what we got here, shall we? Okay, I'm not sure what the heck is going on around here sometimes. I look on YouTube and everyone has got these amazing Oscar quality films and sharp witted memes that look awesome. Talking about how Luma Labs Dream Machine is the best and revolutionary and you got to check it out and use my affiliate link and yada 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 and blah blah blah. Then I get on here, click generate and end up with fever dreams that were worse than the last time I had food poisoning. Like what the frick? I guess it's just hit or miss. Right, guys? Let me know what your experiences were in the comments. I would love to get some more perspectives on this that are not monetarily influenced. I guess I'll just keep trying. I guess?
It's kind of hard to keep trying though when each generation takes what seems like forever. This last one took me over 45 minutes to get. Yeah, let me hop on the dream machine and start paying good money for the chance to get in on this. Not. Can any of you say open source? I'll give this one some time and maybe it will get better for me. Just a word of warning though, the generation times are pretty darn long with the free version. I'm thinking that Dream Machine is pretty popular right now, and of course priority is given to those that pay for it. So, if you're like me and doing all this for free, you might end up waiting a long time for each generation. The extended wait times are a bummer, but I just do other things while it generates, so all good. And I'm not going to be paying for it right now since other video generators do pretty much the same thing for no cost. I'm all for open source at the end of the day. If money's tight or you just don't want to pay for it either, once you use all of your free 30 generations from Dream Machine on one account, just use a different Google account for another 30 free generations. <laughs> Pretty smart, right? You see, I'm always looking out for you guys. No shilling for me. Well, unless they pay me a copious amount of money to do so. But I'll always let you know that up front. Just keep in mind, the watermark will still be there with the free plan and you'll still be stuck with the long wait times. So paying for an upgraded plan might be worth it for you. Keep in mind that with the free version of Dream Machine, you'll get 30 video generations per month, which is plenty to experiment with. But there is no commercial use with the free version. If you really end up loving it, you can upgrade to the standard, pro, or premier version. Here's a breakdown of the pricing currently being implemented by Luma Labs. The standard version allows for up to 150 generations per month and you'll have high priority generations. Commercial use is also permitted and you can remove the watermark. It will cost you $23.99 per month on the annual plan, which equals out to be $287.90 billed yearly. If you opt for the monthly payments, the standard plan is $29.99 per month. With the Pro Plan, you get 430 generations per month with the same benefits as the standard plan. It costs $79.99 per month on the annual plan and $99.99 on the monthly plan. Finally, the Premier Plan allows you to generate 2,030 times per month with the same benefits as both the Pro Plan and Standard Plan. The Premier Plan comes in at a whopping $399.99 per month on the annual plan and $499.99 on the monthly plan. Wow, that premiere mode is a little too rich for my blood. With that being said, the creative possibilities for the future are seemingly endless. You could visualize scenes from your favorite book, create dynamic product demos, or even prototype ideas for a film. Some artists are already using Dream Machine to make entire music videos and short films, but Dream Machine isn't just a fun toy. It represents a huge leap forward in AI's ability to understand and generate video. The implications are staggering, from accelerating VFX workflows to enabling new forms of immersive entertainment. Of course, the technology isn't perfect yet. Characters can sometimes morph or glitch out, and complex scenes are still a challenge. But even in its early stages, Dream Machine is capable of producing videos that would have seemed impossible just a year ago. To show you the power of this AI, check out these videos from an awesome user named Wolfranz. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm honestly still in awe at how well he captured everything and the title is spot on. Too funny. So what do you think? Will AI tools like Dream Machine change the future of video creation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And definitely give Dream Machine a try for yourself. I have a feeling we're only seeing a glimpse of what this technology will be capable of. As always, thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video when we'll be talking about some more emerging tech. Until next time, stay informed, stay curious, and most of all, stay awesome. And oh, by the way, that new kids on the block image that I talked about earlier, it turned out pretty decent. Um, granted, they're not moving very much, but whatever. I'll keep trying if you do, deal?